Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Abigail. Hello and thank you if you are a returning watcher. If not, I hope you enjoy this video. So I was messing around with some of my colors of my Copics and stuff and trying to find a color that I liked and I kind of found these colors and I came up with this little idea. And so I'm gonna try to bring it to life in a drawing. So I'm hoping to do kind of a collage type sort of looking drawing with like a theme and the theme is the summer I met a mermaid so it's going to be like something a teenager put together after they met a mermaid or a young adult or something but if not it'll just be a big nice detailed version of this so let's get started so I think I'm going to use this paper so this is this is express it blending card my cats are going crazy um, chasing each other around. Anyway, so we're gonna start here with kind of a rough sketch, hopefully to either map out what I want the collage to look like or what I'd want the photo to look like. I definitely, if I do keep and stick with the collage, I want that to be like the focus point here. So want it to be in the middle you know maybe this is ooh scrapbook that's what I'm looking for you know I was thinking pin board because I had watched a video from drawing with waffles where she did had done like a pin board and I was like I don't know that I want a pin board but I like scrapbooking because then I could use some of these oh shit <laughs> no of course they're called cauli raised pencils but lord knows they actually don't erase that well. But anyway, I have these really cute paper that matched perfectly with the colors that I had wanted to use. So I was like, how do you, how does one incorporate those? And I also had like really cute washi tapes and I'm like, oh no. But yes, scrapbook. That is the word I'm looking for. Okay, so let's begin. So I wanted her Kind of over here in wow now already the thumbnail is better than the original drawing but okay I wanted her to be like right here like she's sitting I keep doing that but I don't want her eyes open that much. I feel like like wide open eyes. You know, like I, I want them kind of like half lidded, you know. Get that kind of like mysterious, I'm better than you and I know it kind of look. Get her a cute nose. So I'm debating putting, so sometimes when I draw mermaids, I kind of draw, like instead of ears, I kind of draw these cute, like thin looking things like this. So I'm not sure if I want to do that for this one or if I kind of want to go, I don't know if that can be the right placement, or if I kind of wanted to go standard, like human ears. Hmm. You know, I think I'm gonna go with human ears just because uh, she's gonna have a lot of hair and I kind of, I don't want to take the focus away from her hair her hair I want the I love the standard beach wave look I mean we all know like you've seen those things of like mermaids wouldn't actually have like really pretty hair because like soaking in salt water the whole time and I'm like I mean you got a point but isn't it nice to dream once in a while Oh my god, what the fuck? Cute. Let's ink. I don't want to start with that one too little. I'm going to start with a point three Copic Multiliner and sepia. I'm going to run this bad boy over it a little bit. Maybe I should I'll get my ruler out to make sure I you know, have it like even. So 
So before I start to color her, I am going to color the background because I want, I don't know, that's just something I had learned in a painting class was, you always start with the background so that way you can like have everything colored correctly once you get to the foreground, or especially like the surrounding yeah, so like if, if so that way I don't make her like really light and then the background really dark and then I have to go back through her to make her lighter or I mean darker. So we're gonna start with that. A little nervous, so bear with me. You know, I get it, I put the moon in it, but then there's, you know, the, it kind of looks like the sun is setting, and that's okay. I mean, I think we've all seen times when the moon and the sun were out at the same time kind of thing, so we're going to pretend it's one of those times for the sake of artistic creativity. Definitely getting there to where I like it. I think the hardest part is I've never actually, uh, I'm not sure I've ever completely drawn up, like a character in a background before. Well, maybe I have, but not in a very, very long time. So this is kind of a new thing for me. I do want to dust. So I like this yellow color is one of my favorites and this is one of the first times that I've actually picked and stuck with a specific color scheme for like the whole piece. Like I wanted it to feel really cohesive, hence I'm using the same colors over and over again. Now the nerve-wracking part. Bum bum bum. Let me check. So we did some light shading with 
uh, the browns. But now it's time to make it seem like she's outside in, when it's dark. I definitely feel like some of the places aren't dark enough. So I, here's the thing, I do want her to stick out from the background. So she isn't gonna be shaded entirely how maybe she should be because she would be like, she'd be in like total darkness. But, but we want, so, cause we want her to stick out a little bit. She cute, boys. She cute. I like it. Okay, this will either make or break the piece. Ha ha ha. I kind of hate myself right now. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. I didn't absolutely blow it. But we're not exactly done yet. So I like the corners to be crisp. I'm gonna have to go in with a well gel, white gel pen and touch some of that up. Actually, I kind of like it though, but I do have a tiny bit of touching up to do. Okay, so I'm back. I took a quick break, my phone was overheating, but now we're back at it. So I went ahead and added my border to make it look like a photo and cleaned up some of the edges a bit. So now I'm just gonna go in and start adding some of the details and fixing up some of the spots that I had white pen over. Which to the white and her eye gonna say eggs. Okay, so I think that main one is done. Or as close to done as I'm getting it. So now because it's like a photo, I think I want to use a little washi tape across the corner of it, maybe? Okay, well no, let's start with some background because like this is a scrapbook. Okay, so what I did is I cut a piece of paper to kind of see resemble like as if the photo was placed on top of paper. Now, I probably could have cut this out and used a separate piece of paper, but I'm not interested in that. I like to make my life harder. And to cut it, I, did, I used one of these. I got it from Hobby Lobby or Michaels, I can't remember. So now I want to go in and put some washi tape on it. I'm gonna use this cute little heart washi tape I have. Maybe we'll make one of this like a photograph. Like, and now because I don't want to, like that little washi tape is fine, but like I wanna keep this intact since it is the original, I, I'm not gonna glue anything on it. Cute. So I'm gonna use washi tape to kind of stick other things down instead of glue them. So I was like, her treasure. Okay, so I decided to add another photograph. So I kind of sketched it out and it's like her, like a picture of the dock and the mermaid peeking out. So I never want like to give away the mermaid's name because I feel like that, you know, I don't want to give her a name. Kind of keep it ambiguous. Like, I just met, I just saw her for the summer. That was it. Okay. So this one I think is going to be in the daylight. So we'll use, we'll keep everything very bright. So we got a couple photos. I was just thinking, 
maybe some like pieces of paper to like label these other photos. Be cool. So I think, and I think it'd be cool too if like she like it was as if the mermaid like gave this person like a scale of hers. So let's try. I think I want one more final like header, but I don't do it on this. There. Done. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this cute little collage centered around this beautiful mermaid.